Well, tonight, a new report from the mayor's office takes a closer look at any child who died under the age of 18 and it investigates how they died, and then how it could be prevented for the future. WJZ Live at 7 o'clock tonight. Our Annie Rose Ramos has the report's findings and the promise from city leaders here. Annie Rose. Rick, in the past five years, this report says that 208 children have died in this city. 90% of them are children of color, and the leading cause of death is due to homicides. Now, as you mentioned, this report does include those children 17 years of age and younger, but it also says that almost all of these deaths were preventable. A grim reminder, Baltimore's violence spares no one, not even the children. In the past five years, 208 children died in Baltimore City. Homicide was the leading cause of death of child fatality, claiming 69 children over these five years. A new report on child fatality from the mayor's office shows how many children are dying in the city and why. We found that 91% of these deaths were preventable. We must especially focus on recommendations to prevent children from becoming victims of violence. The report shows in the past five years, 24 children were killed by a parent or caregiver, and 45 children were killed by a non-relative third party. Someone wanted to kill a young boy simply because he, or shoot a young boy because he ran into a car with a scooter, right? These are the things that our young people are facing. Back in August last year, 17-year-old Josie Portillo was shot and killed in Highland Town. It breaks my heart that this had happened to him because out of all people, he didn't deserve that. And in November, 13-year-old Malaya Turner. Taken from her family, from her friends, and our city. Shot outside a rec center in Sandtown. I feel my heart bleeding for the family and bleeding for young people 13 years old. Like, they don't even know if it's safe to go to a recreation center. Now, this report also provides recommendation to prevent child's deaths moving forward, and that includes more school partnerships and violence intervention programs. Reporting live at 7, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.